Doesn't that look good? That is cookies and cream cinnamon rolls. Easy to make. They look great. They're great snacks for a quick dessert. Let's make them right now. So first thing we need is a food processor. Put it aside because our main ingredient is pizza dough. Out of a tube, look what happened. The lid blew up. I've never had that happen before, so we got it out of the container, put it on a baking sheet, and I wasn't quite ready to make it, so it's been sitting there for about 15 minutes so I could get everything together. Because the recipe said it needed to be at room temperature, which I normally don't do, and when I left it at room temperature, once it got nice and warm, it blew up. So I unrolled the pizza dough, which looks surprisingly like crescent roll, except it doesn't have the perforations on it. Yeah, I would rather make my own. This is what we got to give it a try. This is what we're going to use. We'll put that aside. Now our next main ingredient is cookies. That's where the cookies and cream come from. And we're using Oreos. Just like that. Now I need a half a cup altogether. So I've got one cup of unbroken cookies. Well, okay, minus one cookie because I had to try them. We'll get the lid on this processor. Get her into place like that and make us some crushed cookies. That didn't take too long. Now the trick is getting the blade out and getting the cookies into a mug. So I took it over to the sink because I knew I know me. That powdered cookie would have gone all over the table. So here we are. That's a half a cup of crushed cookies. So now we're going to set up. I, you know, I was going to flour the table and go from there. And then I thought, I've already dirtied a piece of parchment paper. Why not just throw some more out? And we'll work with that. That's a little sticky. I, I guess I could have thrown a little bit of flour down. But you know, this worked out really well. Uh, I didn't have the huge mess of flour that you normally have. Now what I'm doing here is I'm kind of smoothing it out so it's about as close to a rectangle as possible. Got a little thin in the middle, but we'll work with it. Next up is some butter, room temperature. So I grab a little bit just to give it a try, and it's still a chunk. So I grabbed a little bowl, poured some in, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and it came out, well, like that, really. Now this isn't enough, and I was kind of hoping it would be enough, but I had to put the same amount in again. So you're probably looking at a good two tablespoons, I think, to actually cover all this. And this is the, the butter is the kind of the glue that sticks everything together. So you want to make sure you cover everything. So there we go. Now we need a little bowl because we're going to make the stuff to go on top. Half of our cookie mix. Look about that. Doesn't have to be exact, but as close as you can. This is roughly a quarter cup of sugar, a tablespoon of cocoa powder, and a teaspoon-ish of cinnamon. I know from doing similar things before, cinnamon's really strong, so you don't want to overdo it. Don't think throwing a tablespoon in is going to be the end-all be-all. And really the same thing with the cocoa powder. I put a little more than a full tablespoon. It was more than enough. So now we've got it all mixed up, let's pour it out onto our dough as best we can and as neatly as we can. So we're trying to leave an inch on the sides so it doesn't spill all out. 
and let's mush that around so it's as even as possible. Now, of course, since I just kind of dumped it all on, I wasn't thinking about the the butter kind of mushing it around. Made it a little more difficult to spread. We got through it. Now, we carefully rolled this up side to side. You can't just do a little one. you got to kind of roll it all along so it's as even as possible. Once again, not hard because the butter's holding on to all that cookie and sugar and cinnamon and stuff. But once you get it to the very end, and that's why it's really important that you leave space on the, especially on the end. That way you can roll it over, seam down. Now we got to cut it. So here's our pan that we're going to actually do the baking in. Most of the spray I got into the pan, not all of it. Now this is what we're going to use to cut our dough with. I've, I've never really tried this before. I've always used a knife and it mushes everything up. So you couldn't really see there. So here it is where you can see it. You take the dental floss, you kind of twist it around from the bottom, and you just pull it together and look what happens. Watch, we'll try it again. Under, give it a little twist, and then just pull. Tink, just like that. I did two or three at a time for each one. There. And then we put it in the pan. Okay, we just got to finish the rest of the roll now. Now I was watching how thick I was cutting them, trying for about an inch, and I think because of the way I spread it out originally, well, we got an extra five out of the deal, which is okay. Instead of 12, we got 17. And now we've got to cover it up, so I'm going to take this parchment paper, shake the crumbs off it, and we're just going to cover this up and let it sit for a half an hour. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of a rise out of it. And we did just a little bit, not a ton. I think at this point I'm thinking I prefer my homemade stuff better. Maybe because it's fresher, I'm not sure. So I've rearranged all the rolls so they're more even in the pan. Into the oven it goes, 350, 15 minutes. While we're waiting for it to bake, into a bowl, that is 4 ounces of cream cheese. And we're going to do the exact same amount with butter. We want both of these nice and softened so we can mix them together. I'll we'll grab a fork to mush it all around. And, you know, the cream cheese is nice and mushy. But I'm having a bit of a hard time with the butter. So, being the stubborn person that I am, I figure if I mush some more, it'll be okay. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Into the microwave, we're going to go with this. 30 seconds should be enough. And indeed, it is. So I can start mushing it together. Yeah, it's a little lumpy. That's okay. So to that, we're going to add a teaspoon-ish of vanilla. My daughter's homemade vanilla extract. Yummy. And the last ingredient is one cup of icing sugar. And we'll mix all that together. See, I was going to use the hand mixer, but by, got, by the time I got to this point, there was no point. I'm going to put that aside. Here's our rolls out of the oven. They don't look brown for some reason, but they really are. They're, they're a real light brown. I let them cool for five minutes. And then we spooned on our cream cheese topping. Oh yeah. If you got a sweet tooth, this is the way to go, man. And you're never sure if you've got enough or too much. I had just a little bit left over. So now on to our last quarter cup of crushed cookies. They get sprinkled on top. Just like that. 
they look really good so let's get them on a plate and I'll show you these guys what they look like on the plate that's one two three four just like that now it's time to dig in mmm dessert hey another great recipe I hope you'll give it a try leave me a comment below one way or the other listen if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.